everyone welcome to my channel welcome Scorpio today I'm going to do your love reading please remember it is a general reading timing is fluid uh, if you'd like um, something more specific a personal reading my information's in the description box this will be for your Sun your moon your rising and your Venus signs uh, please remember roles or energies can be reversed uh, this reading may not resonate um, for everyone because it is general. Um, so take their messages that do resonate for you. And also, um, if you'd like to check out your other signs, this reading will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. There is a, a video playlist link in the description box. Um, so feel free to check out your other signs. And then the last thing that I have for you, if you're new to my channel, I am doing a giveaway at the end of each month. I'm giving away two personal readings. To enter, you just have to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, you just have to, um, you just have to like and comment, obviously, okay? So I will announce the winners the first week of every month. I am gonna be doing the, um, uh, what are we in now? We're in May. So April winners um, in the next few days. So I'm going to pull your cards, then we'll start your reading. We're going to do the tarot portion first, and then we'll do some um, romance angels, and then go from there. So give me a moment. Okay. So give me a moment, Scorpio. <sighs> Taking your energy. We will clarify these cards. Bottom of the deck, we have transformation. So somebody here is going through a transforma transformation. So I feel like maybe um, this person that you're dealing with, you know, whether it's you or this person, somebody here. I feel in the past there, there was something that was very, very unstable, could have been very toxic um, or unhealthy about uh, the connection with you and this person. So I feel like somebody is definitely is um, going through some transformation here. There may have been an ending to the situation that is now causing a new beginning here, is, is bringing about more stability here. Bigway has one and three, which is four, telling me that... Um, there is a transition or a change happening now that's going to bring more stability for you. I talked about something in the past here with the temptation card, um, something that was unhealthy. It could be repeating old cycles, okay, repeating old cycles of um, unhealthy behavior. Um, this person, you know, may have had some type of addiction. Um, and they just kept repeating that behavior, whatever the addiction was. This could also be the temptation for you, Scorpio, to go back to something that was unhealthy, okay? So definitely um, there was some past challenge or situation that was very, very tempting and um, probably not a good thing is what I'm getting here. Now for your current situation, we have the third eye chakra. So I feel here this is spirit saying that your intuition is going to be really, really heightened right now, or it is right now. And um, they're telling you to really um, hone in on your intuition because you are going to receive the messages and guidance that you need during this time. It's going to help you in your love situation here. Now for future guidance, we have prosperity begins. So what I'm getting here is for some of you, this may be about leaving the past behind and starting something new, um, moving on and, um, you know, starting growth with a new person is what I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting here um, that you may be leaving this person from the past behind and you may be, you may have um, already started um, kind of investing your time and energy and being open to new love or you may have planted the seed and you know there may be somebody you're interested in or vice versa um, but I feel like there's a new beginning here 
Now, I'm not saying that this past person can't return if it's somebody that you want to reconcile with, but I feel like um, this is kind of like a new thing. Um, you know, I feel like Spirit is guiding you to something new here, wanting you to invest in something new. Now, the focus of the reading you have here is the power card. So I talked about transformation. I definitely feel here there was a transformation in the situation, and I feel that you definitely um, are in control and have power here, all right? I feel like this is all about you um, having the courage and the strength to get through these past challenges, okay, and really listening to your intuition here in regards to love and, and um, your love situation here, okay? I feel like, too, this is a, um, about you also being in control of your emotions as well. And then the possible outcome here, we have the waiting game. So for some of you, I'm getting here that you may be making a decision whether to move forward um, and leaving this past love situation behind and, and opening your heart to something new. Um, and again, this card is, you can see, um, it's like you've planted the seed, the same thing here with this card, and you're waiting for things to grow. So whether this is somebody new or this is somebody from your past, there may be a decision or a choice from a past person and um, either a new love or being open to new love coming in. And so it's all about the timing here is what I'm getting, okay? Excuse me, I'm going to take a quick sip of my coffee. And now we're going to um, clarify each of these cards, get some more information. I'm just going to do a couple shuffles because I, I have already shuffled before the reading. Okay, so let's just do a cut. All right, so thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the temptation card here, please? Why is the temptation card here, please? Okay, yeah, so we have the death card. I feel like there was an ending here, uh, uh, ending and uh, transformation here. It's causing a new beginning. Let's get one more card. We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so I feel here that some of you may have ended this situation because you weren't getting the um, unconditional love that you wanted here. And I feel here the universe was guiding you um, to stop repeating old patterns as well so that they can bring you the love that you want into your life. All right, beautiful message there. You could have been dealing, um, you know, here is your energy Scorpio and you could have been dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. But I feel like you had to end repeating the same old cycles um, with love or this could be some other addiction that you or your person was dealing with. But the universe wants to bring you love and you had to go through this transformation for it to come in. So why is the third eye chakra here, please? Why is the third eye chakra here? We have the sun card. Beautiful. Why is the third eye chakra here? We have the hangman, and we have the chariot. Okay, so clarifying uh, third eye chakra. I feel like your intuition has really um, made you see things in a very different light than you may have seen things in the past. I feel like you're moving forward. You're not repeating old cycles. You're listening to your intuition. Um, and I feel here, this is what's going to bring you that joy, peace, and happiness. Now I see that, like I said, you're seeing things differently in a new light. You're moving forward with your life. You're taking control of your life. And that is just beautiful. You're in control of your emotions, which we already saw, um, here with the power card. Um, but you could be dealing with a cancer, all right, or you could be dealing with a Leo as well. And they could be any sign, but if your sign pops up, then all the better. It resonates more. Okay, so let's see here 
Why do we have prosperity begins? Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is prosperity begins here? Why is prosperity begins here? Okay, so we have three of cups and we have the judgment card. Well, <clears throat> So I'm getting a couple messages here. <clears throat> if you've left a person in the past behind and you've decided that you don't want to reconcile with this person, I feel like this is an indication that this is the um, this is a judgment call that you made. You decided that you did not re want to repeat old patterns. You wanted to move forward with your life. And here with the Three of Cups, I feel here this is like a celebration for you. This is you being happy moving on maybe you're going out with your friends and having a good time and now you're open to new love for others this could be a past person returning here with the judgment card could have involved a third party situation here and now you're going to have to make a judgment call all right um and i feel here the you know the guidance here is that um they want you to make a decision here of what's going to be, you know, good for you and prosperous for you here for a new beginning. But I do feel here for some of you, there could be a past person returning um, and you're going to have to make a judgment call about this situation. But I feel here the guidance is that they really want you to, um, to make that decision best what's going to be uh, good for you what's going to be good, happy, and prosperous for you. So let's move on to the, the power card. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the power card here, please? Why is the power card here? Let's get two cards, please. Let's get two cards. Okay, yeah, the temperance card and the two of cups. Yes, I said here that I felt here you're really trying to get a hold of your emotions here and keep them in check, keep them in control. So I feel here, um, Scorpio, you really got this under control here. You're trying to gain balance in your life. I do feel here there's divine intervention here. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, and I feel here this is either, this Two of Cups is either this new person um, coming into your life or th this past person that is returning. And um, I definitely feel you have a very strong connection with uh, this person that you're that's coming in I feel for a lot of you this is a new person I feel that that you are leaving behind um, this person from the past I feel like you went through a lot um, with this person Ooh, okay we have way too many cards there but I did see um, the Knight of Cups I feel like some romance is coming your way Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the waiting game here? We've got the nine of pentacles. So some of you may be single, patiently waiting. Let's get one more card for why is the waiting game here. Yeah. <laughs> I, see that, I see here that um, either you're single or you're independent, but you've definitely... Um, been waiting for things to prosper and grow and I feel here you're planting that seed you're planting the seed either there's somebody new that you have interest in or I feel here there's um, you're just putting it out there that now you're single and you're available and you're ready to put the time and the the effort into to something new here if this is, you know, again, if this is for a past person, which I'm not feeling that's for a lot of you, um, I feel here that, you know, that you've been waiting, you're, you're waiting for this person, you invested a lot of time and an energy with this person, but I feel like your energy now is focused on you, focused on you, I feel like you're focusing on your finances as well. Okay, so let's pull some Romance Angel cards, see what comes out. I 
I feel here too, some of you are focusing on your children, you know, just getting everything in order in your life, your finances, your children. Um, I feel like you're preparing too for this new beginning, this new prosperous um, beginning with love. All right, let's get three cards for Scorpio. Let's get three cards with for Scorpio. Okay, we have letting go of control itch issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Oh, we have unrequited love. I did talk about third party situation. That could be. Yes, and I called it new love. Let go of control issues here. Fell with um, temptation. So this person you were dealing with in the past could have been very, very controlling. Okay, may have tried to control the situation uh, with you. Could have had codependent, codependent tendencies. Could have had an unhealthy uh, addiction that was causing them to be really controlling in the connection or the relationship. The next card you have is there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Unrecorded love. Yeah, I feel here that a lot of you may have seen, um, started seeing things in a different perspective or a different life, a light, may have sac sacrificed a lot. I'm sorry if I'm jittery. I just took my asthma medicine and I sometimes feel like I stumble on my words, but um, this person, or I feel here that you really saw things differently. Okay, you may have even sacrificed a lot for this person. And now I feel here, you don't even know if you want to move forward with this person. I do feel here too, um, for some of you, that there was a third party situation going on in the situation that also, um, you know, changed uh, the way that you saw things with this person. And I feel you really went within and used your intuition here. Now, the third card you have is new love. And that's what I really feel for you here with prosperity begins, three of cups and the judgment. I feel like there is something very new coming in for you that's going to be very prosperous. It's going to make you very, very happy. This person is not going to be controlling. They're going to let you go out with your friends. And I feel like there's divine um, intervention. Um, that's happening, uh, bringing this new person to you. So I feel like that is just beautiful, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, if you'd like to enter um, the giveaway, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.